What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to calculate the molar solubility of ALOH3 when the KSP is 2 times 10 to the power of negative 32. So we have aluminium hydroxide. When it dissolves, it's going to produce aluminium and 3 hydroxide. It means that it's going to produce X mole per liter of aluminium and 3X of hydroxide. You know, we have hydroxide. Pure water has 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So the final concentration is going to be 3x plus 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So Ksp will be aluminium ion times OH to the power of 3. That's x and OH is 3x plus 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 to the power of and KSP 2 times 10 to the power of negative 32. Now, since the KSP is very, very small number, I'm going to say I can neglect 3x comparing to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So it's going to be x times 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 to the power of 3 equals to 2 times 10 to the power of negative 32. So then x will be 2 times 10 to the power of negative 32 over 10 to the power of negative 21. That's going to be 2 times 10 to the power of negative 11 mole per liter. And then as you see here, it means that that was a good assumption that we neglected 3x comparing to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So 2 times 10 to the power of negative 11 mole per liter is the molar solubility of this compound. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions.